Um, Tishik, I think one of the many scandals of COVID in this country has been how our pupils and our teachers and our schools have been treated. Um, some of the latest episodes of this is a situation where right across the country today, and it has been the case for the last couple of weeks, um, you have people attempting to teach and attempting to learn in temperatures of 8, 9, 10 degrees. Almost impossible to do in those circumstances. Um, why? Because the government failed to act on our repeated requests on the ventilation bill that was passed over a month ago at this stage and failed to invest in buying and installing HEPA filters into the schools. Instead, you have uh, many private fundraising efforts taking place in schools across the country to get the HEPA filters to mean that they don't have to leave the, op leave the windows open as wide for as long throughout the course of the day. The latest today was a number of reports from different schools where it seemed the HSE helpline for principals was refusing to record positive tests from antigen tests or positive cases. They said, no, we need a PCR test. But when in the entire country, it's not possible for those under the age of 39 to get a PCR test uh, today. Will you intervene to resolve that issue? Will you intervene to ensure the Department of Education buys the HEPA filters, distributes them out? Will you intervene to ensure that all educators, SNAs, etc., have access to, for free, FFP2 or N95 masks, just like we do in this place? Thank you. Now, Deputy Paul Murphy, um, in terms of schools, uh, again, the, I want to pay tribute to all the teachers, uh, to the principals, uh, the parents and the pupils and students in our schools throughout the pandemic. It's been a very difficult and challenging time for them. Very significant resources have, has, have been provided to the schools from PPE right across uh, to provide for expenditure in respect of the COVID challenge. Um, and my view is that schools have coped well. There clearly has been challenges, not least with the, the, the most recent wave in terms of Omicron, which has affected so many, uh, so many people. Um, so, uh, I, I don't accept the charges that you've made, right. Good uh, but I just would say, say that, and that issue with antigen tests, and that's been fixed and resolved uh, by the HSE. Okay. Good